Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna start a new series and it's gonna be called TOS Tuesdays. What I'm gonna do every Tuesday is give you a short video where you can just learn a few things, get a few simple tips and tricks and help manage your TOS. So today I wanna to cover two things. The one is sneezing and the other one is diaphragm breathing. Now sneezing is one of the most difficult things to do and then one of the most dangerous things to do when you have TOS because you've already got the compression and now when you're sneezing, you're throwing your whole body forward, your neck goes forward. Everything just creates more of a compression and even if you go to a chiropractor and you get everything reset and your top rib lowered, you might find that you sneeze and it throws everything back into that wrong position. So what I found the most effective for me is a hammer fist to the forehead not actually hammering yourself in the forehead with that fist, but uh, placing it on your forehead. And if you are by a wall or a door, say you're walking, because I found that I would sneeze more often if I was standing up and walking around. So I would get up and when you're in your house or you're somewhere, there's always a wall nearby or a door. And I would just take that, stand against the wall. And as you're sneezing, you're controlling your head and your head can't go anywhere. So that just protects your head. It keeps your head from jerking forward and throwing everything out. And it also just keeps everything in a stable place. So if everything is compressed and you've got all this limitation, you don't wanna be throwing your head forward. And this is one way just to minimize it. If you don't have anything like a wall or a door in front of you, um, you can also just place your palm. And as you sneeze, just hold your head as firm as you as you can and hold against your head push back almost and that just eliminates that force of your head going too forward that's tip number one tip number two is a problem that i still see a lot of people struggling with and that is diaphragmic breathing now diaphragmic breathing is how we all should be breathing and i've always said this if you look at a baby when they're breathing their tummies go up and down now that's what you want to imitate because that's the natural way of breathing. You're getting the deepest breath, the most air, and your rib cage is moving properly. Now when I had my TOS badly, um, my rib cage was stuck on the left hand side and that's why I was feeling a lot of vertigo and dizziness and that feeling of tightness in your scalene and your sternocleidomastoid muscles. And having that stuck rib cage just limits you completely and you cannot get a full breath of air. So. Diaphragmic breathing is one of the key elements in recuperating from your TOS, especially if you've had the surgery. You want to take that strain off this area and you want to take the strain off your scalene muscles from doing all the work for your respiratory system. So you want to place one hand on your stomach, one hand on your chest, and you just want to feel that your chest isn't rising and that your stomach is rising. Now this takes a lot of practice. And it's not something easy to do because you've probably been breathing wrong most of your life because naturally we just all breathe with our chests because the scaling muscles take over during intense heavy workouts or intense walking or whatever the case is your scalings take over naturally so you have to focus on keeping your chest down and raising your diaphragm just place what i what i would do just to practice as well is maybe put two cups onto your just hold them there, a cup on your diaphragm, a cup on your chest, and just see which one is rising. And more likely than not, your chest is gonna be rising and not your stomach. And if you can just spend a few minutes a day, get home from work, lay on the floor, it's best to practice laying on the floor, and you just place either a cup or you do your hands, and slowly force yourself to get that rhythm. As you breathe in, your diaphragm rises, your stomach comes up, and as you breathe out, everything comes back down. So practice that. I mean, I can do it naturally now and I've, I see that a lot of people still can't do it. It takes so much time and patience. I'm just so used to it that it, it, it's second nature to me now to breathe with, with my diaphragm. And it makes such a big difference with your fitness levels. If you just want to get your fitness levels up, you get a fuller breath of air. You don't feel as dizzy all the time and your diaphragm and your rib cage and everything is moving properly and your scalenes are not moving as much, which takes the strain off your TOS. So this is the first episode of uh, TOS Tuesday. Two simple tricks that you can try right now and that 
I encourage you to work on on a daily basis. So with the sneezing, try to hold your head, get against the wall as you sneeze and practice your diaphragm breathing. And you're gonna see huge improvements very quickly.